Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be cooking pho. Pho is the most famous Vietnamese noodle soup in the world. Every pho house has its own secret. But today I will share with you my homemade method of cooking pho. The final product will look something like this. Let's get started. Firstly, we will place the beef bones in a pot filled with water and bring to boil over high heat. After boiling for about 5 to 10 minutes, you will see the impurities right to the top. Then dump out the whole pot and rinse the bones well under running water. This is a very important step to keep the broth clear and it will save your time skimming up the scum later. Don't worry about losing the flavor because during the first 5 to 10 minutes, you mostly only get the badness of the bones. After that, place the bone into a large pot filled with 5 liters of water. Make sure the pot is clean because you don't want anything to contaminate the broth. Then add a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar and one peeled onion. The onion will help to keep the broth clear and also add more flavor to the pot. Also add in the beef and bring to boil. Then lower the heat to medium and cook for about 1 to 2 hours. Do not cover the pot and occasionally skim up the scum and the fat. To create the amazing aroma of pho, you're gonna need two pieces of ginger about the size of your thumb, three star anise, two cinnamon sticks, two to three black cardamom, and one onion. So easy to remember, right? B H O pho. You can use more spices, but those are the most basic to create the fur aroma. We're gonna cut the ginger into slices and the onion into halves. Next, to bring out the aroma in these elements, we're gonna grill them directly on the stove. If you're a westerner, I hope you're not freaking out when you see this. But yeah, this is really what we Vietnamese do to bring out the flavor of the spices. We grill them open flame until they are charred. You can also grill them in the oven, but I just feel it more fragrant this way. Now open the window and spread this amazing pho aroma to the neighbors. <laughs> Sometimes I also use extra coriander roots. So I'm gonna stuff all the small items into a large tea bag. These tea bags are very cheap and it's disposable so very convenient. You can also wrap them in a cheesecloth or anything to make sure that it's not fall out. Then peel the onion and scrape up the charred part. You can also use a shallot instead of onions. Make sure you clean off all the black parts, otherwise it's gonna make your broth turn dark and that is not what you want. And add all of these to the pot. It smells so amazing right now. What we aim for is a very clear broth, but amazingly fragrant and flavorful. Depending on the cut of the beef, it might take about 1-2 to two hours to cook. When it's cooked, soak the beef in a bowl of cold water for about 10 minutes. This is to prevent the meat from turning dark and drying up. Also remove the onions because you don't want them to break and make the broth less clear. Then add seasoning powder, salt, sugar, fish sauce to your taste. Then drain the beef and slide thinly into bite side pieces. Meanwhile, we will continue to cook the broth for a few more hours. Traditional pho can be cooked overnight. But if you don't have much time, 2-3 to three hours should be okay. Also slice some fresh raw beef thinly if you like. For the garnishes, we're gonna slide onion into paper thin slices. Then soak in a bowl of ice cold water to reduce the strong smell and make it more crunch. For the spring onion, I'm gonna detach the white and the green part and then chop up the green part. Pho in Hanoi is only garnished with onions and spring onions. But in other parts of Vietnam like in the center or in the south, you will see a garnish platter which includes um, Asian Thai basil and salted herbs. 
and also bean sprout which is blanched in hot water for about 10 seconds. So I blanched the bean sprouts and green and then wash the vegetables and also the next step we're gonna do is to cook the noodles. If you use dry noodles like I do, soak them in cold water to let them soften a bit then I blanch them in boiling water. You can do this for each bowl or boil all the noodles at one time. After that, wash it under cold water and then hot water. That way the noodle will stay separated and do not clump. To assemble the dish, fill the bowl one third full of noodles and then place on your beef slices, the onions and some black peppers. Pour the hot soup over and serve! To each pho, sweeten a small lime wedge. Add in spring sprout, your favorite herbs, some hoisin sauce or sriracha if you prefer, and then have a sip. I hope you will like the recipe and thank you for watching. Bye bye!